Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 19 complete live project for you. We are going to build an expense tracker from scratch from ground up. This is a complete CRUD project that you will learn and we will use most of the features and the changes that are available in Angular 19. This tutorial is good for beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. I have already shown a demo in the previous episode where we talked about what we are going to build. It's very very important for you to check that out so that you know what you are going to build and what would be the end result. That being said, let's get started with part 1 today. Before I start coding, thank you so much for always supporting me and my channel. Please do consider buying the full stack interview series kit that I have recently launched which will help you prepare, learn and crack the interviews. You can get all the details at arctutorials.gumroad.com <coughs> Alright, so a quick note on what all we are going to implement. This I have covered in the last uh, episode. I will not go over it again. But this is for your reference what all you are going to learn as part of Angular 19. All of this that are listed will be implemented as part of the project as we progress. Without wasting time, what are we doing today? We are going to do installation and setups that we need. So we are going to install Angular application, Angular material, install JSON server, set up mock data, set up model for our project. These are all the things we are going to do today. Let's get started. Again, if you are liking my work, please do consider that hitting the like button. Alright, first and foremost, I'll start with basic, which is to create a project folder. Alright, so once you are in it, right click. I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor. You can use any editor of your choice. Alright, so the first uh, step, step number one, I'll just list these steps initially for your reference because it's important that you get these right. As we move on, I'll, I mean, since we'll be coding a lot of things, so you don't need to write all the steps, but few initial steps we will need. The first and the foremost is to install the Angular CLI, <coughs> which I have already done. And if you have already built any Angular project, you would probably be already having it. So the command you will run is npm install hyphen g Angular CLI. This will install the CLI for you. Okay. Once you have run that, the next thing you will do is to check for the Angular version. Okay. That you are running. So if I type ng hyphen hyphen version, you can see which version I am running. So the command that you will run is ng hyphen hyphen version after this command. Once you are done with that through that, it's time to create the new project. Okay. So you can see that I'm running 19.1.5. Now the next step we'll do is create a new fold, uh, project folder. So I'm going to call it expense tracker. <coughs> now it will ask you some options. Now here I'm going to stick to basics so that everybody follows. But if you are advanced, you can also choose SCSS or less. Now, do you want server side rendering today in this project? We will not do, but I'll do that as a separate. So I'm hitting no and let it create the project. So to create the project, the command that I ran is ng new and you will give the project name, whatever project name you want, but follow my tutorial, stick to it and just type expense tracker. So that way you will also have the same folder structure like how I'll have. Now, once you run this, it will take a couple of minutes and will build the entire source for you. While this is doing, please do hit that like button, drop a comment to let me know how you will, how are you enjoying or any feedback you have. All right. So it says package uh, installed successfully. Let me clear it here and go to the source and you have the Angular application generated. Okay. Now, there are a lot of breaking changes in Angular 19 that are different from previous versions. 
I'll list down few so that you know the point is for you to learn but before that let's navigate into that folder so type CD expense tracker you will go inside that particular folder and step number five is to run the application and you will do that by typing ng serve <coughs> this will start your application on localhost 4200 all right now your application is installed and it's running to verify that go back to your browser type localhost then 4200 and you should see the screen if you see the screen that means your application was installed successfully and you have started the application so it says congratulations your app is running so far so good Con command C to close it and now <coughs> let's go ahead to the next step which is to add angular material that for this tutorial I am using angular material so we'll do angular install angular material so the command that you will run now is ng add at the rate angular slash material that is the command you will run to install angular material ng add at the rate angular slash material now it will ask you some options would you like this to be installed 19.1.3 yes and then it will ask you which theme you want to use blue red violet orange whichever you can pick whichever color you want the next option is do you want to install the typography click yes include and enable animations yes so just hit yes for all the options in simple <coughs> you will see that it has updated our some files we'll talk about it later in detail but today just understand these files will install angular material for us the next step we'll do is install JSON server now why is this used this is used to build backend API's or rest API's for our local development okay that's what uh, JSON server is used for so the command you will run is npm install JSON server that is the package you have to install so you will type npm install json server once you do that it would give you a local it has installed it okay perfect now the next step we'll do <coughs> is to create a mock data for our json server okay so what you can do in the source folder okay in the source folder we'll create a new file we are going to call it db.json that's nothing but a simple json file and we are it's like a database right let's say you're, when you don't have a real time apis that you want what we can do is build a simple mock data and feed that uh, data there so i'm creating an array of expenses which will be returned as json value now <coughs> let's add some fields and let's say we'll add a title okay um, let's say um, restaurant one expense so we are tracking our expenses and um, let's give a category and say food and next is amount so you put the amount and say 50 and we can add date all right and it can be 10 12 5 what is what month is this second and 0 5 all right so this is a mock data now I'll not waste your time so what I've done I've copy pasted it three four times and I'll change the again this is just mock data it can be anything um, <coughs> you can add any um, data that, <coughs> that you want here just keep adding and since it's Valentine's Day is coming I'm adding dating let me know what's your budget for uh, dating all right 
Okay. Uh, all right. So we got our thing. Now put commas so that way you don't have the errors in JSON and save it. <coughs> all we did was just created a mock data. Okay. Now we have it. Now, now that we have the mock data, what we are going to do is run this particular to see the endpoints working to integrate in the Angular application. The command we will run, so create mock data db.json inside src folder. Step number 12 is run the JSON server. Okay, now this is required so that you can see the API endpoints. So you'll type JSON hyphen server, you'll type hyphen hyphen watch uh, followed by the the file name and the path to it. And you can specify which port it has to run. So I'm saying run it on localhost 3000 and the endpoints are localhost 3000 slash expenses. So let's go here, type 3000 slash expenses and we can see that it's returning the data that we want. It's an array with objects, okay, one item. And the, these endpoints is what we are going to use in our Angular application, all right? So, a lot of work today. I hope um, you have come this far. I hope it's clear. I will leave you with one more thing we will do, which is inside the app, let's also create create a model and now model is nothing but an interface basically of the data that you want to work with so inside the app I'm going to create a folder called models and inside this we are going to call expense dot model dot ts that's the file we'll create like I said it's just an interface and what we will do is that way we are basically defining a data type if you want to uh, relate to it. So I'm saying I will have a number which is ID and it ca it should be same like the fields you have here in the mock DB. Okay. You can also have other fields and um, anything that you want to capture. But like I said, this is for le your learning. So category string. Um, we also had date and let's just throw everything as a string for now importantly amount we need money right that you how much you spent all right so I have my model ready and the next step was create a model uh, create a folder called models inside app folder and define the interface the one that I just created okay all right enough for today uh, for this one I'll take a few minutes break and then record the next one but I hope um, you will reach till step 13 it's going to be an amazing project if you haven't checked out the demo checked out the demo please do so I have covered it in the previous episode please do continue to like share subscribe if you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. See you in the next part. We'll continue with our coding. Thank you.